What's up everyone, Dre Drexler here. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how I personally enhance my physical appearance. Of course, having a nice hairstyle is cool, it's great, but I have a whole channel dedicated on hairstyles, so if you guys wanna check that out, go ahead and subscribe. By the way, keep in mind that your appearance and looking great is good, but it's not everything. When it comes down to it, it's about our character and how we treat people and how we affect them. That's the stuff that really matters, so I'm gonna go ahead and talk about that more towards the end of this video. And I'm in no way saying that if you guys don't do these tips that you're not gonna look good, but let's face it, you know, I'm not Brad Pitt, so therefore these are the things that I do to enhance what I have been given. So for the first tip that I like to follow is dress for style and respect and not attention. Don't dress to make a statement just look good. Personally, I like to go for clothes that are nice and fitted that complement my body shape. By the way, these outfits that you see here are in my latest fashion video. You can check that out by clicking the link above or in the description. And as far as colors and what looks best for your specific skin color, I'll go ahead and hit on that a little bit later in this video. Tip number two, let's go ahead and talk about experience. Now, before I go on and talk about, you know, tips on how to uh, enhance your physical appearance, not only do you want to enhance your physical appearance, but you also want to enhance the experience. Say when you meet a girl for the first time and she experiences you. That's just as important as the appearance in my opinion. Which is why I suggest going for a very, very high-end cologne. And I know you may be thinking, you know, to buy from the top brands, you gotta drop some major dough. And I don't know about you guys, but I'm all about finding the best deals. And in my opinion, you know, you should have a multiple, you know, selection of fragrances for different types of occasions. And not just any fragrance. I mean, the goal is to literally smell like a million bucks. Which is why today I want to show you guys Scentbird, which is a great subscription service and it's also today's sponsor. For less than $15 a month, you can get the best colognes from the top designer brands like Tom Ford, Dolce & Gabbana, which are some of my favorite, Hugo Boss, like this one you see here. You name it, they have over 150 authentic high-end colognes. And as you see here, on your first order of cologne, you get this dope black metal case and then every month after that, you get a new cologne to refill it with. So now you can go ahead and throw away that huge bottle of cologne that you've had in your cabinet since junior high because cologne is affordable just like razors. They're perfect for on the go. You can keep one in your backpack, keep another one in your car. And as you can see, I just got the new Hugo Boss Iced and it has a really good amount. I've been using this specific one every other day, so this should easily last me a few months. Right here I got the Hugo Boss Man, which smells something like you would use after the gym, and Hugo Boss Just Different, which gives off a classic date night scent. But honestly, Iced is definitely my most favorite clone I've ever owned. It's just smooth and it has a very crisp and overall just very sexy fresh scent. So what an awesome way to, you know, elevate the way that you present yourself. By the way, if you guys want 25% off of your first cologne, I have a promo code in the description for you guys. So go ahead and check that out. For the third tip, that is pluck in your eyebrows. Now, I have been getting so many requests from all you guys over the past few years just asking me, you know, to do a video on this specific subject. So here it is. This is exactly how I do it. So check it out. About five years ago, I went to get my eyebrows threaded. And since then, I have never went back. Um, not even once. And that's because now, about once every 12 to 14 days, I simply look in the mirror, I focus only on the hairs that are starting to grow back in, and I pluck them. However, I never let like three to four weeks go by because by that time, all your hair is gonna be grown in and then you're not gonna know which ones that you need to pluck. I also like to trim up any wild hairs that are growing out too far. So the reason why that I wait about 12 to 14 days is because it makes it really easy to see the little hairs that are starting to grow back and that way I only pluck those ones. And then, you know, it looks like I just got my eyebrows freshly threaded again. Number four, and that is keep your skin as clear and as clean as possible. Um, you know, this isn't everything, but it sure does help out your confidence. I grew up with acne. I, it was so bad that I had to be on Accutane twice. Um, and even still to this day, I, I deal with a little bit of adult acne. If you look very closely, you'll, you know, see some stuff. For me, there was only a couple solutions that really took my skincare to the next level. First off, I used Epiduo, um, which you do have to get through a doctor, but that stuff literally took away about 90% of my acne, which was great. And now all I have to do is just keep up with it with a really good facial cleanser and a moisturizer. Um, feel free to use whatever you guys want. For me personally, I use Travertine's facial cleanser and their pH balancing moisturizer. It helped me maintain a pretty clear face since I stopped Epiduo about eight months ago. So I personally, it's just me, but I love Travertine. I'll be sure to put those links in the description if you guys want to check them out. Travertine also has this new clay mask for your face and it's Oh, it's freaking amazing. Me and my wife use it about once a week. She actually uses it like twice a week, but it's great stuff. It makes your face just feel brand new. Tip number five, and this is a huge one, and this is one that I always suggest to all my friends, and that's simply ASOS clothing. Now look, I rarely do videos where I'm, I'm sponsored by a clothing company um, because 
you know, most of the time, 99% of the time, I go out and I buy my own clothes. Like I previously said, I am all about those deals, so ASOS definitely takes the cake from me. They have all the latest trends, anything you can imagine, and literally almost all their clothing just has amazing great deals. That's why I'm able to rock so much different clothing all the time. Which leads me into tip number six, and that is choosing the right colors for your specific skin tone. For me, sticking to neutrals is, you know, just a perfect way to go for anybody, um, just because it shows that you care about your style, yet you don't you know, you're, you're not trying to be too flashy. And that goes back to my first tip, dress for style and respect rather than attention. As for my white skin dudes, my surfer bros, um, you know, cooler tones look, you know, complement your skin color a little bit better and darker tones will complement darker skin tones. Um, you know, just a little bit better. Nothing crazy though, I'm not, I'm not saying like if you're a light skinned dude and you rock some dark clothing that you just are gonna look horrible. I'm just saying these tips specifically because um, say you're getting ready to go on a date and you're stressed out and you don't know exactly what to wear. Um, it's just a little helpful tip to keep in mind when you're just a little confused and you don't know what to go for. You know, me for instance, I'm a little bit lighter of a dude. I mean, I am a little bit tan, but I'm more on the lighter side. Um, but, you know, I always, like my favorite is dark clothing. I just rock it anyways because I like it. And now my last tip, number seven, going back to the experience when someone meets you. It's great to have a good appearance, but when it comes down to it, what are people going to experience when they meet you? So I know I talked about cologne and the way you smell, but how about the way you make someone feel. A great tip that I have for you guys is to be genuinely intrigued with whoever you come in contact with. You know, because we all like to talk about ourselves. You do, I do, we all do. So try to set yourself apart by creating a conversation and being solely interested in that person. It'll make them feel really important and they'll automatically just really like you. I mean, you, you don't even have to say much, you know? All you gotta do is ask questions and listen. The goal is to be interested rather than interesting. This will definitely allow people to fall in love with you a lot more easier, um, especially a woman. I mean, she'll find this very attractive, very sexy. And of course, talk about yourself when it's appropriate, but for the most part, especially in the beginning, be genuinely intrigued with that person and their thoughts. Now, this is kind of going into the subject of you know, how to become more attractive and what characteristics that you wanna have, which I already just made a video on this last month. It's one of my favorite ones. I'll be sure to put it in the description for you guys to watch that right now. So that's it. That's all I have for you guys. Thank you all so much for watching today's video. Really appreciate it. Um, if you guys want to see more of these types of videos and because I, I, I can continue this. I definitely can continue this. I got a lot more tips for you guys on how to become just overall more attractive and how to enhance your looks and things like that. So if you guys want to see more, let me know in the comments below and I'll be sure to do that. Um, but for now, if you guys dug this video, please give it a nice big thumbs up, subscribe if you are new, hit that notifications button so that way you will be informed when I drop my next video, and I'll be seeing you guys very soon. My name is Dre Drexler. Shaka bra!